So this next song we're about to play is called Measure of Life. It's probably, I've been doing music for a little while now. It's probably my favorite song I've ever, ever in my whole life been a part of. Um, well, this is kind of weird, like a storyteller thing, but I have to share this with you. So there's a woman that did uh, some backup of the Drag Gospel Choir that sang on the song we recorded it, like, what, five years ago? Six years ago? Yeah, something like that. And, um, this woman's voice, there's something trapped in her voice and she like, stormed out of the room after she, she was done recording it and the guy that was sitting in the that was part of our band at the time that was listening was like, asked her producer, is she, is she pissed? Like, does she not want to do this? And our producer looks at him and goes, no, actually she was the one that wanted to do it most because she recently lost a 10-year-old son to a brain tumor and the song that was told to her. And so there's, there's this, this epic ghost of a, of a diva woman if you, if you go online, you can find it. It's called Country of Light. Like, just go look for it if you get a chance. It's really, it's really cool. The, uh, the, the gospel choir that sang for us was, was Sounds of Blackness. They're actually locally based Grammy Award winning, like phenomenal performers. Um, but yeah, I'll get a chance to check it out because there's something, there's a, there's a ghost trapped in the song. Something special. <laughs> Got the 